Well, Eastern Central North Carolina, the way they do their tobacco, as I mentioned before, is they take it up from the bottom, five, six rows, which open up the whole row, so you can get down it if you know how to walk, if you're careful, especially in the morning. That's what I'm talking about. Tobacco is soaking wet, which a lot of you got to understand. I'm not soaking wet. Now take a look at this here at Crystal Beach. This tobacco, see that, is soaking wet. Now I've got a tip in the ground. I know this place has been hammered by five, six inches of rain throughout this excuse me, tobacco crop. Sun's coming up. Guys and girls out there for Indian Trace, I have no other option. Now I could, if I bumble through here and I'm not careful the way I walk and I happen just to I happen to be very slender, very skinny, so I can walk sideways through these and uh, not get wet. Uh, and that's the important part because uh, I've gotten green tobacco sickness twice. It's bad. So I'm not getting it today. I'm not going to get it anymore. Uh, just stay dry and don't get wet. Don't get soaking wet. That's a bummer. Listen, there's a point right here, a tip at least. Look at this reddish flint and this is what I just pulled in recently and that's why you come out here and you're real careful I move forward gently slowly through all that it's a kingdom. I wish I was two foot tall so I could just go ahead and have a time just walk right down these aisles nice and easy. But I'm six foot plus. Look at this. Rhyolite. Some good artifacts to come out here for. Sugar quartz right here. Some big blades they're working on, just reducing this thing down. They probably used it for hardy business or chucked it. I uh, happen to agree to many out there that they often just made them and chucked them. Now, the day before yesterday, I found this. Look at this. I'll just show you. It hasn't been seen yet. Only by my eyes. This quartz in the rising sun doesn't often come out well. This is Crystal Beach, though, so you could find some good quartz just smacked off the front of it. That's just a great base. I mean, to make a base like that in quartz uh, takes some skill. Little quartz Guilford. And this piece is particularly unique. I find some of them. I might have found 10 in my lifetime. Uh, this, it doesn't go this way. I really looked at it hard. This long part is the stem. It's not really sharp at all down here and ground off, but up around the tip, which I believe is the tip, and I've seen this type and I've seen it in books, is, is the tip. Super sharp. Absolutely sharp. And like I said, it's just not sharp down here. It's not even finished off. And there's no new breaks. So, uh, as far as I know, those are older points. They could half doll that in and it'd be super strong. Just guesses. And we can make fairly good guesses. We're human beings as much as they were. It's a nice point. Let's check out this one in the ground, right? I like that style. It's pretty rare. All right. Yeah, it's quiet out here and it's so private when this kind of tobacco is up and I know since it's soaking wet out here they're not going to mess around with it at least for hours maybe it'll look maybe it'll dry out maybe it won't
hear the train in the background. That's how peaceful it is around here. Get to come out and enjoy a hunt a little bit. That's a smoking point. Super nice look at it. You and me, first human eyes to see it in respectively 4,000 years. Good size, good base, look at that. It is a red, reddish flint now that it's drying out. We're losing its color. And that's why I'll gently take my time to try to get through some tobacco at sunrise. beautiful, isn't it? Why let that get smacked and busted up anymore? Why let any of these, really? I mean, they are, a lot of them already have, but, uh, well, I won't take too much more time. Appreciate everyone tuning in to Indian Trace. That right there. With the sun coming and hitting it. Is Indian Trace.